Where do you find yourself? I feel like I'm lying down somewhere. It's like indoors, mm -hmm. but it's, it's not comfortable. Okay. It's not comfortable. Tell me about why isn't it feeling, un feeling comfortable? What is bothering you? I feel like maybe I'm off the floor or cement. I don't know if it's if it's like a cell or or underground or it's like there's little light coming in but Okay, so you are lying down. Yes, I see. I see like the chains in my hands. Are you a male or a female? Have a look at yourself. A female. Are you young or old? I get 36. Okay. Are you wearing anything on your body? It's like an old dress, but... And uh, do you have stains anywhere else or just your hands? Uh, I, I, I think maybe on my, on my feet as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where are you? What is this place where you are? Look around you. Are you inside or outside? Inside. Inside, very good. What are the walls made of? Oh, so like gray stone. Okay, very good. Is this a big room or a small room? It's very small. Mm -hmm. It's not very, very small. It's a cell. <sighs> Is anybody there with you? No. I don't feel like maybe... Maybe in other cells, but not here. Mm. How do you feel being there now? I feel scared. Yes, of course, of course you are. Why are you there? I did something. You did something. You want to tell me about it? I lost my... I feel like I've lost something. What? What have you lost? I think I lost my freedom. Do you know who did that to you? I see a man. It's a man. And so he put you in this uh, cell? And let's see what okay. happens. Let's see what happens next. Mm. I feel like I'm walking. <sighs> but I'm still chained on the waist. Mm -hmm. And I'm in a row, like with other people, <laughs> we're walking. They're taking us somewhere. Are you going somewhere? Let's see where it is that they're taking you. And let me know when you're there. I don't, I don't know, I keep getting... 
I, 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 I got like pyramids at one point, but I don't know if I'm making it up. And then I get like a big building, like a, I don't know if it's a farm. I don't know what it is. Let's just see what it is. Just uh, describe me what it is that you see. You are there now. Mm. How does this place look like? What, how does this building look like? What shape is it? It's like a bigger room, it's like a bigger space, it's like a big space. You're indoor or outdoors now? Indoors. How does this place look like? Dark. So what is happening there? Can you please share with me? Let's see what happens. I want to cry. Because <laughs> I don't want to be here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's leave the kingdom. We are now drifting and floating away from that scene. Oh, yes. Okay. So let's move forward to another important day. We are now moving forward to another uh -huh. important day. And you are there now. What do you see? What is happening? I see the sun. The sun. And I see green, really grass. Yes. You see the sun, and what else? Like, um, like grass and flowers. Mm. Like I'm doing something in the in the land. Like, what are you doing with the land? Picking something from the ground. What is it that you're picking from the ground? Herbs. Mm, herbs, beautiful. Like flowers, like herbs, like, yes. Mm -hmm. How do you look like? Are you still the same person? Have a look at yourself. What do you see? I'm female and I'm, I'm wearing like like white, like beige clothes. Mm -hmm. And I feel, feel free. Mm. So you're still the same woman? You're seeing the same woman that was in the previous scene? I'm not sure. I think I have like blonde hair now. I'm not sure I had blonde hair before. Mm. That's okay. How old do you feel like you are now in this scene where you are now? Are you young or old? I'm 24. How does it feel being there? I, I, I like this nature, but I, I don't feel completely safe either. Mm, what makes you say that? Why don't you feel safe in this place? Tell me about it. I feel like I feel like they're looking for me. Who is looking for you? I get I get this image. I get like an older woman and like a man, like like landlord. I don't know what it means. Landlord. And what do they want from you? My, f I think like my freedom, my services, my even my knowledge. Mm -hmm. You want your knowledge? Tell me about it. What knowledge is it that they are interested in <sighs> from you? I make potions, like like potions. Like potions uh, with herbs. Uh, yes, I make like medicine. May you make medicine, beautiful. So that's what you're picking up. You want to make mm. some medicine over there? Uh, yes, um, I make. I make all sorts of different things. Mm. Like, um, um, I, the fluff, 
the plants uh, the plants almost talk to me they totally they, i know what they're for i know how to use them mm-hmm. i know how i know how to wait they, they show me how they heal ah but that's ah, us but some people doesn't like this why they don't like it ah they feel like um they don't like what i do they don't like what i do they witchcraft they they don't understand it they are afraid of it mm. Mm. they don't they don't see how i know this they don't they don't understand how i can how i can heal like this mm. how did you learn this did someone teach you how to do this? How did you come up? <sighs> ah, from birth, from birth, from birth, I had this knowledge. Yeah. I had this, I came here, I came here to show others how to connect. Mm-hmm. How to connect, how to harness the wisdom of the the wisdom of the of the flowers of all of all that we are how to open how to open how to open ourselves mm. how to open our consciousness beautiful we can connect so you were aware of this uh, since a long time or <sighs> since you were a child or you <laughs> yes yes i came I came here very open. I knew, I knew how to. I knew how to talk to trees, to plants, to to the water, to to nature, to 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 what we cannot see. So you feel like you have a strong mission. You are you're here to. Like you said, yes, yes, yes. The people, people here, they suffer. They suffer. They suffer. Why do they suffer? They suffer. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know who they are. They, they miss. They have so many misconceptions, misconceptions, so much. Mm. They think I make things up, but they're the one that makes things up. They make up all this nonsense. My God, the nonsense. They manage to, to lose all their connection, all their connection. They managed to take they're disconnected completely. Mm-hmm. Ah. And they want me to disconnect as well. But this is not possible, right? Because when you once you're connected. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I yeah, no, it's not possible. Mm-hmm. They think they can scare me. Yeah. And maybe, um, and maybe my body can can get scared. But I know, I know, I know. I'm not this body. I know I'll move. I know I'll, I'll leave this. I know I'll move. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll know I'll move. I know. 
but hope. There's so much. I have so much hope. I I wish they could see the beauty. <laughs> There's so much beauty. There's there's so much beauty. You mean uh, in nature? <laughs> yes, nature, nature, and water, and the air, and the sky. The sky, the stars, the stars. <laughs> yeah. We come from the stars. The stars are my home. <laughs> the stars are my home. Where do you come from? Which mm -hmm. <sighs> Andromeda. Ah. Mm. Andromeda. It's <laughs> mostly, but I, I travel. I travel. I travel much, much, much travel. You like to travel? <laughs> yes. Mm. Yes, I love to travel. So much to learn, so much to see, so much, so much to connect to, so much to share. So much to share, so much to see. Mm -hmm. And how do you travel? Yeah. I my I'm getting my light body. I have the Merkaba ships. So you travel with your own consciousness with your Merkaba as a vehicle. Yes, I love that. Okay. I can go anywhere. I can go anywhere. Yeah. And uh, are you aware that um, you are now speaking through a human body called Christina? Yes. Mm. And so why Christina came to Earth? To see, to learn, to expand, to manage fear. It's one is a hard lesson eh? to, learn, to, to learn to harness fear. Yes, she she was scared. So she has been here a couple of times, back and forth. <laughs> yes. Mm. yes, and she, she has suffered so much here. Sorry? She has suffered so much. Mm. On, uh, on the Earth uh, plane? It's Earth. Mm. But she keeps coming back. <laughs> yes, she's she's fearless though. <laughs> mm. She's fearless. She's fearless. She thinks she's scared. Yeah. And she's fearless. Exactly. Otherwise, she wouldn't come back, right? Ah, she... Oh, she knows so much. She so much. And why why did you show her this life as a slave where she wasn't uh, with the chains? Why why did she need to see this today? She wears those chains. No. Yeah, she keeps she doesn't know, but she's she keeps herself chained still. She mm. she why? she can let them go. Yes, of course, you can let them go. What what uh, do these chains represent that she has now on her? She must let them go. They represent her her fear from this reality mm. of hmm. fear of that that freedom um, gets taken away here. That that Earth takes away her freedom. Then us not take away her freedom. No, she takes away her freedom. She she makes it hard. Mm. <laughs> so she doesn't need those chains that she put upon herself. Not anymore. 
Not anymore. Very good. So that's a good reminder. For she us. looks. She, she. She looks for them. She looks for them. It's like she doesn't. She believes that they keep her safe here. I see. She's she's learned that that's how she's she's safe if she's not safe if she's small. She's not small. Mm, she's huge, isn't she? <laughs> she's not small at all. <laughs> of course. She's huge. Yeah, yeah, for sure. She, she makes things happen. She makes she makes she makes things happen. Make things. She does she she creates worlds. Oh. At the moment she also feels she doesn't feel very safe in her physical body and um it leaves her kind of ungrounded in, in, in some way and also overwhelmed by external energies. And yeah, she's yeah, what is the why is it like this? What is the source of this? She's not grounded. She she doesn't know how to be here. Mm. She has not learned how to be in a physical body very well. She makes it hard to be here. She likes to be up. Oh, she likes to be away from here. But she's 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 supposed to be here. She no, she doesn't need to be up. She can be here. She 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 can bring her her wholeness here. So it's mainly that she doesn't want to be here. Then, so it's like uh, she's subconsciously kind of trying to escape. She but does not want to be here. She does not. She thinks this this earth is too hard for her. She she doesn't understand why she's here. She she yeah. knows, but she. She she likes to be she, she likes to be up there. Okay, but maybe today we remind her. Would you do that for her? Would you please remind her why why is she here? Because she chose to come here. Why why did she chose to come here? Maybe if we remind her, it will it will help her. She doesn't know, but she's here to make you. World's possible. <sighs> she creates world. She makes uh, the the light. She brings the light. Mm. She manages to free. Frequencies she brings are very unique. She loves to create. She can create from anywhere. She she loves to create. She cannot create with this chain as so. long. So can can we let go of these chains now from her? Is it something that we could do now a <sighs> gradual process that she needs to take it. She needs to let them go. She needs to. We can work on this. But she manages to bring them back. She needs to let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Yeah. She does not know how to do it, but. She knows. Can you remind her now, please, how to do it? <laughs> her frequency is, uh, is that of freedom. Her frequency is light. And light has no place for those chains. She needs to just love who she is. Just love. She makes it hard. 
she makes it hard because she thinks she has things to learn and but she has learned a lot she has my frequencies her um, the light she brings the light she brings it's it's not of this world from very very far worlds that's no people no one knows here she has lived everywhere she has she she travels she likes to travel she codes so much she likes to think she needs to learn she needs to to forget to to learn to she just needs to feel the frequency that she embodies how can she do that how can she allow herself to feel this frequency that she embodies oh, she can she can sing it she sings she can sing it she likes to sing she <laughs> She likes the thing. She she doesn't like her voice very much, but <laughs> she brings her frequency. So the slight language that she's also bringing through is this also part of it? She yes 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 a lot of it is from other own yeah mm. yeah it um, it. Uh, brings her frequency here what she does that she she likes to think that she can use it to heal and she can she can she can heal with light language it's not that that she needs to do with it she just needs to learn to connect to her frequency through it so she could also use it to, to help other people, to be of service to other people in a, in, a, in a healing way? Oh, yes. She has so much light she brings. Mm. She can heal so much. She can heal. She can heal so much. She can heal illness. She can heal pain. So would it be appropriate that she steps into this uh, uh, as a service? Yes, yes. Mm. Yes, she needs to. She knows that she needs to. It's her. It's part of her. It's this healing. She has done it. She has done it so many times. She knows how to do it. She thinks that she needs to learn or be guided or taught or or she just she she knows when she's when she's with people when she holds that space she knows how to do it she just knows she she's scared to do it she fears that she might hurt them she's been so hurt here she believes that it's it's so easy to hurt people. She thinks that she can. She, <laughs> she thinks that she cannot hurt people. She cannot. She's a light. She's she's a being of great light. She's not. She cannot hurt anyone. She loves to heal. She loves to help. She cannot. I wonder if um, if this could be something for her, like as a, like a full time activity to to. As a healer? No, oh. not yet. Not yet. She's not done yet. She needs to do other things. Okay. She can heal. She can look to find ways to be of service in her healing uh, practice. In a, what she knows how to do, she's going to find a way to bring it to life. Mm. she knows how to do it but she's not ready to do that uh, 
full time yet. She doesn't need to. She can help more. She can help more people otherwise. She can uh, look. Uh, she she looks for jobs, but she doesn't know what to. She knows though. She knows. So what would be the most appropriate job for her or what kind of job opportunities should she look for? She must look for things that resonate with her light. She knows this. She knows that she has to bring her light in whatever she does. She cannot be a human in a in a traditional way she needs to bring her light more she needs to go to the midst of people and teach them teach them of this light teach them that the light is not outside it's in them it's in them she needs to remind people wherever she goes she needs to show them she she does she does so much she does she she does so much but she doesn't know how to be free she does not know how to be free She looks for ways to make it hard. She doesn't need to make it hard. She has done, she has gone through enough. Enough. She does not need it anymore. She doesn't need to to suffer anymore. She doesn't need to suffer anymore. She looks for ways to suffer almost. Mm -hmm. She doesn't suffer anymore, but she... She fears that she's gonna suffer again. She thinks like it can go away. She fears like the light can go away to leave her alone, but it cannot. The light never leaves her alone. She's the light. I wonder if from all this journey and all this um, suffering that she went through until now, if if there are any suppressed negative emotions that she, she's still carrying with mm, it. Yes, yes, she has a lot in her sacral and her root. She must see that she cannot. <sighs> Would it be appropriate that we release them today? Yes. Okay, so could you please make a scan? on her a body scan and see where they are uh, stored and which areas of her body are these uh, negative energies being stored and suppressed mm, yes her heart is something she thinks her heart is here but she has something in her heart yes she is fear of of leaving the light she thinks that she can stop being the light she cannot Oh, she must see that she is the light. She's a great light. She must see it. She must understand. She's a great being of creative power. She she understands this. She knows. She's 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 in. She knows she's a creator being. She knows this. She has, she's heard us. She has heard. She looked for it. She, she looks for information. She tries to understand it, but she doesn't need to. She knows. So would it be appropriate to release this uh, energy, this negative yes. from her heart now? Yes, yes, yes. Would you... Please go ahead and do that now. Mm, yes. The fear in her root, it's... Much of it comes from her childhood. She was so hurt. So much was taken from her. So much was taken from her. 
She understands she needed to go through it. She understands it's part of her journey to understand human suffering. She knows this. She knows she's come here to help and she cannot help if she doesn't understand. She knows this. She knows it's, it's all part of her journey. It's all part of the plan. She, she can be of great, she is of great service. She is of great light. She knows, she knows, but she doubts herself so much. Would it be helpful if we at least release this um, accumulated uh, negative emotions that she, uh, mm. she has yes. from that, uh, that era of her childhood? Mm. And uh, I yes. guess she was mentioning that there is, uh, there's also, I guess, a lot of guilt and a lot of shame. Mm. So please, she holds this in. Yeah, and uh, so she must understand. She's she's not guilty. It's not her fault. What happened to her? It's not her fault. She did not do anything to deserve it. She did not do anything to cause it. She was not in any way accountable for what happened to her. She needed to go through that. She needed to understand what it means to be that powerless. She knows, she knows. So she chose to have this experience. Mm -hmm. Yes, she chose it. She chose it, she knew it's she knew it'd be hard. Oh my God, it's so hard for her to to see that she she chose it. She knows she chose it. So that means that she's very, very brave and very, very powerful to to choose to go through such a such a difficult experience in this in this way. Yes, she's so powerful. She has so much energies can flow through her. She can hold in the world. She can hold she can hold galaxies within her. She can hold many, 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 many worlds. I wanna focus a bit on healing today for her because I think this will be very Yes. Important and helpful for her. Can you please um, release any energies that are no longer needed, not serving her from her sacred? Yes, her. Yes, 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 yes. Her throat as well and is throat. so blocked. Yes. And all the other energy centers or any other areas of her physical body, wherever is any energy of lower frequency that is not uh, needed any longer, that doesn't serve, you may please release it now completely. Mm, she must, she must let go of her fear though. She cannot hold on to it. She cannot hold on to it any longer. She must let it go. She doesn't need it. So the the healing is taking place and will continue to take place for her through her dream time sleep. Wonderful. So I just wanted to ask, when do you think that this process is going to be complete? Mostly a month or two for her to understand that the, the light she she does not need fear she does not need fear right now she thinks that she's gonna be able to somehow bring it back she's doubting it she's doubting that she can heal her fear she's she's gonna let go very soon she's of great her mission is, is, is great. Her mission is, uh, is uh, she's powerful. She's here to do so many things. She knows this. She knows this. And how can she bring forth this? Uh, she's here to. 
and these gifts and healing gifts that she is carrying to help other people and to fulfill her mission. <laughs> she can channel light to people. She can channel so many different energies for people from different realities. She can she can channel lights to people's lives and hearts. She can heal them. She can heal them so much. But sure, her work is um, her work is great. She has a lot to do. So much to do. She doesn't know where to start, but she she knows that she's gonna be able to do it. She knows. She makes it. Um, complicated she makes it complicated but she does already what she's supposed to do she reminds herself to bring uh, source energy in all, all, all situations that she walks through her day she brings it everywhere with her she brings it everywhere. She heals people everywhere. She walks. She walks with so many beings. So many beings are here with her. She knows this. She, she, yeah, she likes to think that she has to do it all on her own, but she does not. She brings in so much that people need. But trust, she needs to trust. She blocks it with her doubt. It's already happening. It happens all the time for her. She, she brings it forth everywhere. She cannot doubt it anymore. Her doubt, it's what blocks it. She cannot block it anymore. It's time to bring, in, bring it all in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all that she is, all that she is, she's a lot, she's a lot, and yet she makes herself small, small, she feels safe, she thinks that if she's seen, she's going to be attacked, she, no one's going to attack her anymore, she's uh, protected, so much protection is around her, she does not need to fear, she's not... She's not like other people. She, not that, you know what we mean when we say this. It's not to derogative to anyone else. You know what we mean. She knows this. She's not like other people because she knows her light. And she needs to remind people of their light. That's why she differs. She knows the power of her light, she knows it, and she needs to remind people of their light. You mentioned beings around her, and I would like to ask you a little yes. bit about that, because she's asking, she feels also that she's not alone, um, and she's asking who are her teachers and spiritual guides that are helping her growth and healing, and uh, how can she listen to them more clearly? Yes, she has, she has guides and teachers from all over the galaxies, not, not even this galaxy, from all over creation. She walks with beings that have not been here before. She has connections to most, to many dimensions. She comes from many, many dimensions. She has stepped down many levels to be here. She is connected to beings in many levels. Her teachers are from all over, really. She can connect to any being if she chooses to. She can connect and, uh, and learn and share with beings from all over creation. She thinks that she cannot, but she does already. She hears, 
she, she hears clearly, but then she doubts it. And then she, she makes up whatever she thinks she needs to make up in her mind for it to make sense. And she feels like she doesn't hear clear, but her, her throat is, is blocking her for understanding who, who is with her. But her throat is blocking her, you said? Mm. What is mm-hmm. it? Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a question we had for you today anyway, and you, you brought it up. Can we have a look in her throat? Mm-hmm. Yes, her throat has has something from many, many lifetimes ago. She could not speak who she was. She could not be who she was. She thought that she could, but she could not in that lifetime. And she suffered from it. She suffered from speaking her truth. She thought she could do it, but she learned that sometimes it's better to not speak um, that's not the right way to put it she cannot uh, humans are not able to understand the, um, the light in the way she understands it she understands it and they, they they cannot and they should not they she thinks that her voice it's her reality, but her voice is so much more and so much more than her reality. Her reality is just a small part of it. Her voice is a chamber for so much more to come through. She does not have to limit it anymore. She does not need to close to fear the consequences of her truths. Is there still there an, a blockage that she's, she was carrying in her throat? Oh, she's um, being killed. Okay, so we are. You're also taking care of that now. Which yeah. Mm, yes. That's wonderful. And. Uh, so the, the, the beings that you mentioned, because she said that she's, she, she feels like she's telepathically connecting to some beings. Uh, uh. Yes, she's so connected. She's so connected. She doesn't understand. She's so connected to so many. She reaches far. She, she cannot disconnect. She has come here connected to me to her her parts throughout the cosmos she's she's connected always she brings but uh, she's connected to many beings she has um, many beings are her galactic family mm-hmm. family is here with her on earth as well she has family so she has galactic family incarnated here with her on planet Earth at this time. She connects to them sometimes. They they like to connect to each other. They they can understand each other. They speak the same language. They like to share. They know that they're connected and they like to share she knows it and she feels like she's talking to herself but it's her they're with her they they help each other they know it's not wrong they understand there's no right or wrong but they like here to bring the plan of source in they know humans do not need to learn through suffering there's an easier way Source is here with us always. Source does not prefer one way or another, but he so much can be done if we're connected to source. So much can be done. So much can be done to connect and to be more of source. To be more of that. Love, that love, that love, that love, that love. Love is so beautiful. 
may I ask you something? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, because, yes. you know, humans, we like to put things in boxes and, and put labels on it. So I guess perhaps I'm speaking on behalf mm -hmm. of her. She didn't really communicate this in that way, but perhaps she, when she, I mean, I understand she's very connected and this happens to many people. And perhaps because she doesn't always know where this information comes from, she might fear yeah. you know, and all, or mm -hmm. not know where, where is she connected. Mm -hmm. My question would be, does she really, every time she gets an incoming message, telepathic communication, insight, intuition, whatever that is, does she need to know exactly where that information comes from and put a label on it or not? And if, and if not, how can she be comfortable in that, in that intuition that is so heightened and, and these communications uh, and just allow it, how can she discern in other words, how can see continue being connected, receiving messages and discern without being afraid of this yeah, mm. experience. She does not need to know really at this time. She just needs to, she just need to love, to feel the love. Uh, she's uh, connecting because she's connected, but she doesn't need to know who she's connecting to. Just know that she's connected to to love and trust that it's love trust that it's not something that will hurt her her human vessel is um is uh, not to be feared she does not need to fear her human vessel she's here to use it she could not share her light in the way that she is without it she knows this. Her telepathy is going to heighten. She's um, she's not aware who she's talking to, but um, she she knows what she needs to know. So she, there's no need to fear, right? She can keep. No, 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 nothing to fear with her, nothing to fear. Mm -hmm. She can connect to lower beings sometimes if when she's, when she gets scared and her, her days are, 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 are tough, she, she can connect to anything, but she, she did she disconnect? She knows the. She understands frequency. She understands vibration. She, she can connect and disconnect mm -hmm. easily. But her fear stops her. Sometimes her fears keeps in things that should not be there. But she manages. She she knows how to heal. She knows. Mm -hmm. And what is she here to learn? What are the biggest lessons she came to learn in this, uh, in this incarnation? She came here to learn to be herself, to be her full self, her full being in her so much. She thinks that if she's all that she is, she's, uh, she fears her power. She thinks that she's going to do something bad with that, but she can't. She source is in her, she's her, she sources in her everywhere, everywhere she goes, sources with her. She knows this, she knows that she's really connected to father and mother. And she she likes she, she should talk to them more. They they listen, they hear her, they hear her. She, she, Feels like she's too too small to talk to move to father. She she thinks that she's gonna. It's her ego that wants to talk to father. Her father is her. She's from father. She's so connected to him too. She's she has a great connection to source. Can we talk a little bit about her creativity? She's struggling with bringing her ideas into materialization. Can you help her <laughs> how to overcome this? It's so funny. It's just so funny. She's, she's so creative. She's creativity. It's her, 
It's her nature. She creates. That's what she does. She she creates. She she travels and she creates. She she creates all over the the the, the cosmos. Even the cosmos. She the cosmos is her home. She creates worlds. She creates life. She creates flowers. Even. <laughs> She knows how to create. It comes from her core, her essence. But she thinks that it has to be brought into physicality for it to exist. It does not. Mm -hmm. She creates with her mind all the time. Mm. She creates... She creates portals she creates light she creates far from what she knows she cannot understand it she doesn't have to she creates though she doesn't know she does but she creates all the time her walking this plane is creation she does not need anything physical to show it she can she should she can create in the physical plane as well. She does. She knows this. She likes to to sing and melodies come to her. And, you know, she will create melodies. She will create songs for people to connect to source in a, in a deeper way. In a, E easy, easy, easy is the word. She makes it easy to connect. Uh, but um, yes, she can create anything she wants here. She likes to. Um, she likes to play the piano. No, not all the time because she has these expectations. She is, she thinks that she has to be good at it for it to mean anything. She doesn't need to be anything really. She. Just do it when she wants to, now do it when she doesn't want to, she doesn't need to do anything. It will come to her, all comes to her in due time, all comes to her in due time. She will create much, much will be created through her. She will create new ways of creating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she knows that creation is not what it's shown to be on this plane. Creation comes from so much deeper within us. Creation is who we are. Our, our beingness, our soul beingness is creation. We can use that beingness to bring to bring forth into the world, we can bring into any world, any world really, we can create anything, so much can be created, but so much. She needs to understand that she's gonna create a lot, but it's not gonna look how she thinks, she thinks how she imagines it to be. It's not gonna look like that at all. She cannot understand right now what it will be because she's, um, she's not seen it on this level before. It's not been on this level before what she'll bring. She brings something new. But she, she needs to heal first for it to be brought through her. It's a powerful what she will bring, a new way of uh, creation and connection and unity and love. She will create a new way of creating. She will teach people to create with their beingness. Uh, the light that they hold will be the pain they will use to create the worlds that uh, need to be brought into physicality. The worlds that uh, we dream of are not created for us for us they're not created for us we need to the light flows through those the light of creation will flow through us to materialize what we see in our hearts what we see in our hearts 
our minds, your minds, your minds cannot understand yet what will unfold and how much, how much there is to bring. You cannot, it, you will see, you will see so much beauty can be brought forth from so many different places. So much beauty you will bring all of you, all of you beings of light that you're here. You're so wonderful. You're so wonderful. Hara, you do, you do such a wonderful job. Such a wonderful job you do. Thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you so much. I, I truly appreciate it. It goes straight into my heart. Thank you. We love, we love the beautiful ways. Yes. Yes, yes, it's wonderful, wonderful to have you here, wonderful to connect with her now. Yes, it's wonderful for me to connect as well with you and I, I miss this kind of interaction. I'm, uh, I'm very happy to reconnect to this beauty and this energies and this love and this uh, wisdom and, and playfulness. Uh, I, I still have a few questions from her, which I think she would be very happy if we answer them all and we are, are kind of running out of time. So I will, maybe if it's okay for you to go through them quickly, would that be possible? And if there's any of them that is not important, maybe I would like to ask you now about um, diet. What would be the most appropriate diet for her? Yes, yes. Um, lots of vegetables for her. Lots of fruits. Um, yes, uh, lots of uh, um, the nuts are good for her. Nuts are good. Yes, they're very good for her. She can eat some meat though. She doesn't. She feels it weighs her down. That is true. But uh, sometimes, yes, meat. Um, the meat is not. Uh, too bad for her and she doesn't eat it often she can eat some organic food some organic um, uh, produce from organically grown chicken in uh, yes she can find that in her country any other changes in her lifestyle that perhaps she could consider uh, she needs to walk more, she doesn't exercise, she likes the thing that she, that, um, she doesn't need to work with her physical vessel, she dances and she enjoys it, but it's not enough for her, it's mm. not enough for her, she needs to, to, yeah, walking is good for her and she enjoys it, she needs to do it more often, just walk, walk in nature, her, the, the, the lake she goes to is good for her. The, she has connected. <laughs> she's connected the trees in her park. So many they, she connects and they love when they see her. So yeah, she connects to <laughs> to plants. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, they love her around the park. But she <laughs> she needs to do it more often. It looks like, it sounds like, because when, uh, also in the life, which we, I haven't asked you about that yet, the la one of the, like, experts of past life that we saw that she was, um, mm. she was connected to the plants, it, she was so much joy and playfulness just rise from within, and the same thing happened now, as soon as you mentioned nature, she's just, she's just smiling, yes. like a child. Yeah. <laughs> She's from uh, Andromeda, it has a lot of, uh, she's uh, from um, flowers, flowers have been her home, she, flowers, plants, she comes from a land of flowers. Andromeda then is a, yeah. um, I mean it's a, I guess it's a big star system so, but there's, there are many flowers in that star system. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. She's from a place with a lot of flowers. The oh. flowers speak to her. Even here, they they love her her essence because it's their essence. Oh, beautiful! I guess so. Then it was no coincidence that I mentioned her. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, you mentioned it where she felt it and she, she thought it was weird that she would mention it, but she, yes, flowers are a special thing for both of you. Beautiful. So, 
from all that, I, I guess that it would be very good for her to spend more time in nature. Yes, yes, very much so. She knows this, but she, she doesn't like to be outside. She, she, she connects to the energies that are all around her. She doesn't like them very much. And she prefers to stay at home, but she needs to be out there. She needs to be in that, in the midst of those energies. They, that's what she's here for. She's here to be there and uh, be the, be that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that uh, spaciousness, that love, that, uh, that essence that needs to be brought forward. Mm. So why did, um, did you show her that life that she was um, connected with the plants? She's not from this earth. She's not from this earth and the plants remind her of, um, of that. They remind her that um, she will, she, 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 will, she can go home. She can connect to home. She can connect to everything. They, they are. They remind her of uh, her ability to to be more of who she is. So another question that comes to me now, curiosity, and if it's not appropriate, you don't have to answer to it. I don't know why even it came to me, but are there some, I, I mean, I, I have heard and I know that perhaps everything, that everything, everything on earth is um, it's seeded from other planets. Are there um, mm, yes. seeding from Andromeda on earth, from like or flower, flowers? Mm, oh yes, yes. There are many, there are many beings. There are many beings here that come from Andromeda. They have been sitting um, for um, for many thousands of years. Uh, They've been seated here on your plane to bring uh, more beauty and uh, uh, more connection to the vastness of uh, creation. Uh, they're here to expand on the expand on uh, creation. Every seed that is brought can bring forth so many other by just um, connecting to the to their uh, ecosystem and their environment they can unfold in the new ways of creation and of being the seeds interact with each other to bring forth forms that have not been seen anywhere else that there's the uniqueness of the wholeness of all that is. It keeps expanding and correct and expand and uh, dissolve and expand and disrupt and expand in cycles and cycles of beauty. And uh, it's just... It's, it's an ending, it's an ending, and we need to accept it in all of its evolution. We need to accept the creation, we need to accept the destruction, we need to let go of some forms and accept new forms. It's all within us, but we can help bring it up. Uh, bring it into existence for all to enjoy. Beautiful. I want to ask about another a part of uh, beauty of nature, which is Krista. She was asking about this. Uh, mm. <laughs> uh -huh, yes, she found it. She found it. It was meant for her. <laughs> it was meant for her. 
She cannot understand the level of connection she has with crystals. She has worked with crystals in so many dimensions. They are in so many levels of creation. She creates with crystals. Crystals can be great beings of light. Um, your, um, your human perception is limited to understanding the depth of, um, um, of beingness in crystals. Um, but uh, yes, crystals uh, um, help her mm -hmm. as well, connect to her essence. They help bring forth uh, her true essence. It's there, but sometimes she forgets it and crystals bring it forth um, effortlessly for her. She can, uh, she can work with uh, any crystal she wants to. She knows how to work with them. She understands frequency and uh, vibration and she... Blue, blue crystals are good for her. Blue crystals at this time are very good for her throat. Um, she mm -hmm. uses one. She could, she could get more of them. She could, she, she'll find them. She will connect to the right. Blues are good for her. She, oh, yes, the Sindamani is going to bring her so much joy. She's going to be able to expand upon herself um, with it. Uh, she will be, she will be lighter, more light uh, will flow, flow through the, through the light of the stone into her aura and uh, bring light uh, into the grand um, uh, expansion of who she's uh, meant to be. It will, yes, she, she, she knows how, how, how to do this. She doesn't need to do anything with it. Uh, it's just, uh, they will connect definitely. They, they connect it, they connect it without needing to do anything before she <laughs> even, um, understood what it was. Uh, she read about it. Yeah, so powerful, beautiful, so beautiful energy, otherworldly. Absolutely, it's not. Uh, it's not earthly. Yeah, she her heart smiled. Yes. Okay. Um, another question she has is about uh, her eyesight. That um, <laughs> as good as she <laughs> wanted to be, or. <laughs> Mm, yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't like to wear glasses. They, she, she's been told that um, she needs to see to understand things. She does not need to see to understand things. She sometimes seeing uh, can't keep her from seeing. <laughs> so yeah, her her eyes are um, were a way of um, bringing forth more. But at the same time, she, 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 she doesn't need to see much. Mm -hmm. is, that, um, is it perhaps built in on purpose so that she can, instead of, um, so that she can develop yeah. instead her other senses, instead of basing her experience in, in the physical level, so to say, and just what she can, is able to see. Which yes. Exactly. Ex yes. Yes. Mm. Feeling into things. It's what what she brings. Yeah. Yeah. She. <laughs> the the sight and the, the light. She can see something sometimes. Yeah. The sight. The sight, the sight, it's, um, it's not as relevant as uh, you would think on your level. Okay, so I would like to move on to uh, the last uh, questions. Um, I think we have, uh, we actually have uh, many but uh, left, but... I don't know what would be the, the most important ones to ask. Uh, maybe there's one here about 
which says, what else is hindering me from embodying my higher self more fully? What can I do to align better? She connects to me all the time. I, I am. I'm here. I'm here. She needs to know I'm here. She doesn't need to do anything. She, she does not need to strive or, or do anything. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just here. So would it benefit her to know and understand now and be sure that you are always connected? <laughs> 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 yes, of course, I'm, 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 uh, I'm here all the time. I'm here all the time, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm here. She, she lets, she, she is me. She has because she's becoming more and more me. We, mm. she, she's uh, very soon. There's nothing else that uh, she's gonna. Uh, she's gonna bring uh, me and her full lessons um, without any trouble or any doubt or any fear. She's she's becoming. She's on her way of becoming, uh, and I'm here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so magnificent to experience and uh, it's just so unique to be here at this time it's just so beautiful to to experience what you are experiencing at this time and uh, you will understand that the striving and the uh, needing to be anything it's gonna become it's gonna make less and less sense to all of you to, to both of you actually you don't <laughs> it's just you're so beautiful you're so beautiful <laughs> just, 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 just enjoy you are so beautiful <laughs> okay I think we have reached the end of her question list and um, to conclude this wonderful interaction we had today I would like to ask you if there is any anything that you wish anything else that you wish that she would have asked today yes 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 uh, she must um, she must understand what being a human really means being something else it's not about being being more it's about being human being human it's it's more than you understand it's more than humans understand mm -hmm. and being a human is what you're here to um to learn and unfold through your beingness your you're all writing, you're all creating what it means to be human, what a human looks like. You are, you are, you are creating that image of the new human. Yes, there are, there are what you would call blueprints of, um, how humans can evolve, but uh, source is always evolving, intelligence is evolving, and it evolves and grows through you, and it will grow through you. Being a human will evolve through you. You will bring it, you are here to bring it into its full potentiality. Okay, so is there any closing message you have for her or for for the world <laughs> before? Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. Look for the love. Look for the joy. Make it, make it, make it your, make it your mission. How about that? Just, just. There's no need to think about anything else. There's no. If you want a goal for yourself, just. Make love your goal. Make, make feeling love 
your goal. Make it, make it, make it your intent at all times. And all else will fall into places. All else, all else is taken care of. 